Hello Robocop Asia Pacific, we are M4 Tech from Indonesia. My name is Yananda Majid and we are from SD Muhammadiyah for Surabaya, Indonesia. Hello Robocop Asia Pacific, my name is Rasul Muhammad Zaki from SD Muhammadiyah for Surabaya, Indonesia. This is our first time participating in the Robocop Asia Pacific Tournament. It's a large global scale competition that we are very proud to be part of it. In this competition, we challenge ourselves to compete in Coast Space Autonomous Driving Challenge First Step U12. We need to navigate an autonomous car in the smart city and pass the multiple waypoints before reaching the final destination. We have to pass all the waypoints as fast as we can. To win this race, we must be the team with the shortest time. When I run the program, I found some problems. Here are the problems that I found. Problem number one, the difficulties in turning right 90 degrees. Problem number two, when we set the speed too fast, the robot runs unstable along the line. And problem number three, sometimes the robot gets off the track when it fails to get the specific turn. The method we use when the robot didn't turn right 90 degrees is we need to set the speed of the left and right motor to turn right 90 degrees and increase the duration of the turn. As we see in this picture, when the robot runs a step along the line, we need to reduce the speed to the optimal speed so it will run properly. Now we see in this picture, the robot failed to turn at the specified turn. To solve this problem, we need to stabilize it by increasing the IR sensor statement. To run this program effectively and win the race, we need the accuracy in coding, setting sensor lines, build speed, understanding the correct use of LEDs, and how to set the duration of the time precisely. The one who can make the shortest time each will be the winner. This is our analysis from our preliminary game last week. The challenge mission is to navigate an autonomous car in the smart city and pass the multiple waypoints before reaching the final destination as fast as possible. This can be broken down into some mini tests. Number one, following the line. Number two, passing all the waypoints. And number three, detecting and turning in the intersection. If all of these mini tests are completed, then the overall test is solved. I will explain about the flowchart. As we can see in this picture, if the L3 sensor is detecting a black line, then the robot will do a very sharp turn to the left. If no, then we will continue to the next statement. If the L3 and the L2 sensors are detecting a black line, then the robot will do a sharp turn to the left. If no, then we will continue to the next statement. If the L2 sensor is detecting a line, then the robot will turn to the left. If not, then we will continue to the next statement. If the L2 and the L1 sensors are detecting a black line, then the robot will do a little turn to the left. If not, then we will continue to the next statement. If the L1 sensor is detecting a black line, then the robot will do a very little turn to the left. If no, then we will continue to the next statement. If the L1 and the R1 sensors are detecting a black line, then the robot will move forward. If no, then we will continue to the next statement. If the R1 sensor is detecting a black line, then the robot will do a very little turn to the right. If no, then we will continue to the next statement. If the R1 and the R2 sensor are detecting a black line, then the robot will turn a little turn to the right. If not, then we will continue to the next statement. If the R2 sensor is detecting a black line, then the robot will turn to the right. If not, then we will continue to the next statement. If the R2 and the R3 sensors are detecting a black line, 
then the robot will do a sharp turn to the right. If no, then we will continue to the next statement. If the R3 sensor is detecting a black line, then the robot will do a very sharp turn to the right. If no, then we will go back up to the first statement to start the process all over again. This is from our preliminary game. Our mission is to pass all the waypoints, turn on the specified turn to save time and finish the game. By implementing our methods as I explained above, we succeeded to get to the final destination in 30 seconds 0.625 milliseconds.